Hi everyone, this is Krista Campbell with Krista Campbell Photography and Digital Darkroom Secrets. Today I wanted to create a video tutorial to show you how to use our Love Storyboard template. These templates were created by Rachel, the other instructor for Digital Darkroom Secrets with Beyond Bliss Photography and she is an amazingly talented woman and these storyboards are absolutely awesome and they're so fun to use. I've actually created them for, and used them for clients and I've done them for myself and have a couple of them hanging in my house. So the first thing you're going to do is pull up the love template and we are actually giving away this love template this week when you sign up for one of our Digital Darkroom Secrets workshops. And we have, um, when you sign up for all three of our workshops with our Ultimate Collection, you actually get three storyboards. So today I'm going to show you how to um, create a storyboard and import your pictures into um, the love into the love storyboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my love template and here it is. And then I'm going to choose my picture that I want to put into the L and I have chosen picture 68. So I'm going to click on it and bring it up. Here it is. I'm going to make sure that I have my select tool selected up at the top. I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to drag that up until it switches screens and put it down onto the L. I'm going to let go. Okay, now this layer needs to be right on top of the L so that it can go into the L. To resize your picture, I'm going, you're going to click on Control T so that you can free transform it you're going to hold down the shift key and I click on one of the corners and drag the picture to resize so that it will fit into my L that looks pretty good okay I'm gonna double click to commit those changes There it goes. Now I need to create a clipping mask so that I can clip my picture into the L shape. So I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard until I get this little shape right here of the two circles. I'm going to make sure that the circles are right in the middle of my two layers and I'm going to left click. That will put the picture inside the L and that actually looks pretty good. You can move it around after you do that but I like the way that looks right there. Okay, next I want to click on the O and make sure that this layer is selected. I'm going to choose my picture, which is picture 84 that's going to go into the O. Again, make sure my select, I have selected my move tool up here and I'm going to click and drag that up into this layer. Let go. To resize, control T to free transform. Do not forget to hold down the shift key. So hold down the shift key and drag one of the corners to resize your picture. And then you can click on the check mark at the top or double click to commit that. And then I'm going to create the clipping mask. So I'm going to put my mouse in between, hover in between the two um, layers that I want to clip together, hold down my alt key, left click, and there it goes, move this slightly, okay, and then I'm going to do my letter V, My Photoshop is being a little bit slow today while I'm recording. Okay, here we go. Drag that onto the template. And of course I have edited all of these images and left them at full resolution JPEG, saved them as full resolution JPEGs. Um, 
before creating the storyboard. Okay, so I'm just resizing, double click. It's transforming. Create the clipping mask, Alt, left click. I'm gonna move the picture so that I can see my daughter. Control T again to transform it. Make sure it can fit entirely into the V. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. Okay, double click. Now I'm gonna do the E, and I have chosen picture 53. Okay, grab the picture with your mouse, drag it, let go. Need to transform, control T, holding down the shift key, I'm dragging the corner to resize. Double click, again to create the clipping mask, put my mouse in between the two layers that I want to clip together. Alt, left click, and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click Layer, Flatten Image, and you'll see that the checkerboard, which meant that it was transparent, now went on to um, a white background. Then I can save this for um, print. I can resize and save for the web, and um, this is just a real fun way to showcase your images. Um, I absolutely love these. If you would like more information about Digital Darkroom Secrets workshops or about um, getting your own templates, visit our website at www.digitaldarkroomsecrets.com.